course yellow, full course yellow, full course blue, we have a car off at China Beach, full course yellow. Stand by safety. Hey everybody, we're at Mid-Ohio and we're running the TA car this weekend. And we're running a little bit of the TA2 car as well. We're trying to, to get used to the TA2 car because we're gonna run that at Nashville. So you gotta get some seat time in that car. It also prepped me for this TA car uh, that I drive later on in the day today. So you get a lot of seat time in a TA2 car because it's cheaper to run. This car, you know, is a little bit more expensive. We wanna save it for the race. just finished our second practice session and in the TA2 car that Mike Cope has prepared for us. Uh, we've accomplished a lot of things at the beginning of this weekend. These cars, man, are really tough to drive. They're very difficult to drive fast. You've got you to be smooth. You've got, it's a momentum car. It's all the things you need to do in the TA car. Everything ties together this weekend. But we're done running this car for the weekend. We're moving on to the TA car. Thanks to Mike Cope Racing. Thanks for helping us out. Some of the changes that we've made uh, for this weekend, there's been a real change and it allowed us two and a half inches of more front splitter. So if you can look at the car now, it's got struts on it. So it should give us a little more downforce on the front of the car, I don't know, we'll see. battling the weather right now, again. The thing about Mid-Ohio, in the rain, it's, this place is just absolutely diabolical. You can do go as slow as you want. It's like hitting ice when you hit certain patches on this racetrack, and you just slide right off the track. It's it's uh, it's really a handful. Lime Rock was awesome in the rain. We had a lot of fun, went pretty fast there. This place, you just don't want to have to do it unless you absolutely have to. There's a lot of positives, a yeah. lot of positives. The splitter didn't drag off the car. No, and it mowed the grass at the, the specific height that we wanted when we went I in the grass. The blade right before yeah. you went out, so, so. You leave a nice green, lush trail behind Yeah, you. I mean, it cut it off clean, so none of the blades are stuck in the grill or anything. Yep. So that did its job. Ken's you, gonna send him a bill. Go right, for on. once, I'll get some Landscape track damage back. Get Showtime landscape, yeah. All, you know, two days we've been waiting and yep. that's what we got. That's okay, I'm happy. The ignition system worked, splitter was good, cool suit worked, pit yeah. road speed worked. Well, work. it'll be nice to go full song and see how it all works, you know.
needed to make up at least five seconds. That, that was really the goal. And, and we did. We made 5.1 seconds in this last session, and now we're sixth on the grid. One tenth of a second or something off Dave Pinteric, who we're chasing in the, that mid pack, that midfield race. It's, it's going to be a great race tomorrow. It's a very tight field. And stay tuned, baby. This is going to be a good one. A decent start and uh, you know we're just kind of cruising along biding our time and right around lap eight or nine at the end of the straightaway 170 plus miles an hour we lost our brakes and and went into the sand trap and you know mid ohio is very well done it's made for indie cars and things like that you, people lose their brakes it's just part of the game and uh, the sand trap slowed us down hit the tire barrier, but I'm okay. The car is pretty good shape considering. Um, and so now we're working on it, trying to, to get it ready to go for Road America. So it's looking good. I think we're in good shape. Um, you know, it, it's just one of those things. It goes with the territory. Sometimes the bear eats you, sometimes you eat the bear. We got ate by the bear today. 